The road to Singapore was hard. Over 30 years, Presidents Bush, Clinton, Bush Jr. and then Obama tried to get this far, but declined a leader-to-leader -leader meeting saying North Korea wasn't serious. President Trump says his pressure has changed the game. And now for the equally hard bit. When Trump met envoy Kim Yong-chol in the White House recently, he managed expectations, saying the Singapore meeting was the start of a process. So not a nuclear disarmament breakthrough, but they can aim low now, and if successful, aim high later. There's a range of lower tier bargaining chips. For example, on one side, the Americans could discuss a reduction in the 28,000 US troops in South Korea and or some aircraft. North Korea could offer to pull back some of its troops, which are massed south of the Pyongyang Wonsan line. Washington can look at cutting the frequency and size of its military exercises. Pyongyang can put in writing an offer to cease all long range missile tests. Each side could agree to open diplomatic missions in each other's capitals as a precursor to normalizing relations and then opening embassies. This all could then be put into a declaration of a general framework document, with the US hinting at ending sanctions, North Korea vaguely committing to denuclearize in stages, and both sides agreeing that a formal end to the Korean War of the 1950s would be a good idea. Is it possible? Yes, but still difficult. Uh, is that success? It depends on your view. But it would be the start of the process. Critics of Trump fear he's being played by Kim Jong-un, who gains a victory simply for turning up. Against that is the idea that Trump got this far by threatening fire and fury. And therefore, Kim must know that walking away at this stage means the war option comes back to the top of the agenda again.